Welcome back, folks. Season two of Major Media Podcast is here, and I'm excited for you all to listen. Just a few things for you to keep in mind as you join me on this season's ride. First, Tristan is officially in his second semester of his freshman year. So the year is 2007, not 2006. And secondly, if you like what you hear, I need your help. While I love creating content you enjoy, as I continue to improve upon my craft and develop new and exciting projects, I'd appreciate your continued support in the form of likes, shares, reviews, subscriptions, and donations. So make sure you help out. All right, enough small talk. Enjoy the episode. There were a lot of people at the memorial service. Do you think Ben would have did what he did if he knew this many people cared about him? Cared about him? Not sure that many people at this school did care about him. Half of them were gossiping about him and bashing him as soon as that damn Facebook post went up. And don't get me started on his fake-ass fraternity brothers. All that crying today, and really only one of his line brothers had his back when all of that stuff came out about him liking men. I mean, I hear you. His fraternity brothers especially were kind of foul. But sometimes folks don't realize how wrong they are until something like this happens. Seems a little fake. True. <laughs> what but... did it matter anyway? Shit, at this point, it is what it is. Okay. She didn't deserve that. Denise, my bad. It's cool. I know everybody processes grief differently. But it's not grief. Sure it is. She is so wrong. It's not grief, it's guilt. I feel guilty for being alive when he's six feet underground. It's weird, but I kind of feel like I'm Ben's accomplice in this great crime, but I'm the only one that got away scot-free. Denise, I don't know, but anyway, thanks for going with me today. Now I have to head to work. You're welcome. Again, you sure you don't want to call off work? Yeah, I need the distraction. Okay, hit me up later. Dinner is on me. <laughs> All right, thanks. Don't show too much gratitude. I'm talking to the dining hall, not off campus restaurant. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. See you later. Uh, please hold, sir. I'll go ahead and transfer you to the financial aid office. Yeah, you're welcome. Lord, please let it be this smooth my entire shift. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Chance. Hi, <laughs> Tristan. How are you? Mm, I'm cool, I guess. I get it. I'm still trying to process everything that happened myself. Yeah. You did a good job singing at the service. And he did. He kind of reminded me of Teddy Finnegrass. Thanks. I did my best. By the way, have you heard anything about who was behind the whole Blab Report thing? Ever since the account was shut down, it's like no one is interested in finding out who drove Ben to suicide. Oh, you have heard. I heard what? But before the memorial service started, Eric Stone was kicked off campus and out of school. He was a guy behind the blab report. I even heard he may be charged with a class one misdemeanor for harassment. Who the hell is Eric Stone? Eric is, well, was a junior here. Even with a name, a person to blame, I have more questions than answers. So why did Eric expose Ben the way he did? I mean, I know he was some asshole gossiper, but. He seemed like he had a personal issue with Ben. Well, I don't know if it's true or not, but my girlfriend was telling me that Eric and Ben had a thing going on, but Ben wouldn't claim him and then dumped him. Apparently, Eric was pissed off about it and was looking for a way to get payback. Just because Ben didn't like a boy, that led to all of this? But hey, it could all be a rumor. Oh, okay. Um, well, did you know Ben? Do you think this could be true? He and I weren't best friends or anything, but from what I do know of Ben, he didn't deserve to be outed like he was on Facebook. No one does. And whether he was gay or not, I wish he would have known that he didn't have to take his life. <sighs> Shit. Chance is gonna have me in my feelings again, and I can't cry in here. <sighs> well said, man. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Suck it up, Tristan. Let's focus on something else. Um, Chance is there. The boy finally got a haircut and isn't looking so rough. Nice cut, by the way. Appreciate that. Got some stuff coming up and couldn't stay looking dusty forever. <laughs> That's funny. He knew he was looking dusty. <laughs> I hear that. And on a serious note, it's clear this whole Ben thing has you shaken up. If you need to talk, man, just let me know. That's what's up. Thanks. I better get that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Chance is definitely appreciated. Hamilton University, Office of Admissions. How can I help you? Ugh, 
I'm so glad to be off. All I want to do is crawl in bed and watch a movie. Better yet, I missed last week's episode of The Hills and that's getting good. Let me text Denise for a rain check on dinner. Okay, done. Now should I do Pop-Tarts for dinner or Funyuns? Hell, I'm just going to do them both. But first, I better fold the rest of these clothes on my bed. Hmm, let's play some music to motivate me. Maybe if I'm quiet, they'll go away. Tristan, you have music playing, you idiot. Damn it. Just a sec. Kendrick? Hey. Hey, were you busy? No, come in. How could I possibly be too busy for him? Other than a phone call, though, telling me about Ben and one call checking up on me to make sure I was okay, I haven't really spoken to Kendrick. I for damn sure haven't seen him. Maybe this is a good sign. Maybe he's ready to try and move on. Um, I just wanted to come by and see in person how you were holding up. Thanks, I'm cool. Well, I'm cool as I can be. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, I thought about going to the memorial service, but then I thought if I went, I would be a hypocrite given I wasn't Ben's biggest fan. Not that I wanted this to happen. Of course. I know you wouldn't want that for anybody. <sighs> okay, good. So, so what have you been up to lately? I've just been doing some thinking, I guess. Of course he has. He's probably been thinking about that kiss over and over again. And each time remembering how he had to hear about it from some dude off the street instead of me. I just want to make this right. Kendrick, I know I've said it before, but I'll keep saying it. I'm so sorry about not telling you about that kiss. There's no excuse. If I could do it all over again, I would have told you about it right away. Thank you for that. For real. But if I'm being honest, I can't stop thinking the reason you didn't tell me is because deep down, you like Ben. Well, if I'm honest with myself, I can't say I like Ben, but I did find him attractive. So when he kissed me, for a literal split second, I kissed him back. Then I pushed him off of me because he wasn't you. Kendrick, you're the one I love and want. It's you. It was never Ben or anybody else. And the fact that I allowed myself to be compromised, I don't know if I can forgive myself. Oh. All I get is an O. I'm pouring my heart out and all I get is an O. Yeah, O. Look, I appreciate you finally being honest with me. That's all I ever want for people in my life, especially in terms of a partner. And look, I'm not one of these people that get in a relationship and think their partner should become blind to the world. Heck, we're human. Finding other people attractive is gonna happen, but it's our job as a partner not to act on the attraction and lie. You're right. I messed up badly, and I'm sorry. I know, I believe you. Okay, but does this mean you forgive me? I mean, I'm thankful he believes I'm apologetic, but I need to know if he forgives me for everything. I need to know that we'll be okay. I want to, but... No, but, babe, please, just forgive me. I want you back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> I've missed you, babe. And I mean, all my body has missed him. I can't believe we were able to do all that and no one prepared beforehand. Yeah, I missed you too. Um, doesn't sound like it. You good? Uh, Tristan, I can't do this. You don't have to leave. Carter is probably staying at his girlfriend's again. Yeah, I, I have to leave. This, sh this shouldn't have happened. What do you mean? I mean, sleeping with you was good, but I can't be with you anymore. I can't trust you. And if I can't trust you, I can't be your boyfriend. What's a relationship without trust? If you had just told me about the kiss, things could just be so different, but you didn't. This can't be happening. What? Let's just talk about this. 
we keep talking about it and the facts remain the same. You lied. I get you're sorry, but I can't. Kendrick, I love you. What am I supposed to do with that? I just can't shut off my feelings and I know you can't either. Hey, you might be right, but I can't shut my feelings of betrayal off either. We're, we're done. You don't mean that. I do. Bye, Tristan. Just like that, it's over. He's gone. Hey folks, welcome back. So the seventh episode of season two, Major Me, the podcast. Um, here we get to kind of see a celebration of life. Well, hear about a celebration of life for Ben. And, you know, Tristan's kind of in his feelings about it uh, still. Um, he's still trying to process what happened to Ben. Um, not only his loss, but also the guilt. You know, Ben kind of was really getting bullied alone and kind of carrying the weight for Tristan as well in terms of this information getting out about the kiss on that messy Facebook post. And so Tristan feels a little guilt for that. Um, he kind of feels like maybe if he had gone through the experience with Ben, perhaps Ben wouldn't have taken his life. Um, of course, we don't know that to be true. Um, and that's really the guilt that Tristan feels is really misplaced and misguided. He really shouldn't feel guilty about what happened because he wasn't, it wasn't his fault. And, you know, he couldn't necessarily have prevented what happened to Ben. So, but he's dealing with that. Um, and dealing with that, he's also dealing with the fact that he feels like the people who were at this celebration of life um, were fake. You know, they kind of bullied Ben and they treated him differently when they found out he was gay and they gossiped about him. And, you know, Tristan's kind of from this mindset, if you didn't rock with me in life, don't rock with me in death. And that's what he kind of feels like with Ben, you know. If you all didn't like Ben when you found out who he was, why are you all kind of faking the funk and sitting here acting like you did at his celebration of life? So he's kind of peeved about that as well. Um, he's talking it out with Denise, who in the wake of Ben's death also has her own revelation that, you know, her friendship with Tristan is more important. Um, even though we don't really kind of get into their conversation about what click them into the path of reconciliation. You know, um, they haven't been able to kind of patch things out, hash things out, excuse me, in their friendship. And she's trying to be there for Tristan. Um, and she knows he's kind of dealing with this in a little rough way. So she's trying to be the best friend possible. Um, Denise is definitely a ride or die in terms of friendship goes. And, and then, you know, Tristan goes to work and that's where he hears from Chase about what, who actually is behind the Blab report. Um, it turns out it's a scorned lover of Ben. Um, and you know, I kind of didn't want to play that angle in terms of, you know, it being someone who was being messy, like a scorned lover. But then I was like, it kind of makes sense. Um, you know, believe it or not, I've heard stories of people who were exploring their sexuality and were outed by someone that they had previously messed with and it didn't end well. And so that's what I decided to angle because it was a little realistic. So I decided to kind of pursue that route in terms of that narrative. So that's what we find out. It's a scorn lover and he's been kicked off of campus because um, more or less he it kind of he was bullying Ben. Um, he, well, he kind of started that. And he was bullying other people too. He was writing the gossip website so mm, for not nothing he's gone and then you know Tristan he's had like a long day um Kendrick is still not really talking to him as it was mentioned in the episode um he wants Tristan to be okay of course but he's still kind of angry about the kiss um and the lies about the kiss so you know Tristan's going to his room expecting to just be alone Yes, Denise invited him out, but he just kind of wanted to relax and chill. Um, that's when he gets a surprise visitor, Kendrick. And Kendrick, um, Kendrick comes over really not knowing what him and Tristan are trying to do. Um, they're still in this like really gray area about what's next. And so the plan is to talk. They talk briefly. You know, Tristan tries to own up really now. Um, 
to his part in all this messiness. And he's trying to be honest. Um, and, you know, he makes this big romantic plea to Kendrick. And so that kind of leads them into bed. <laughs> um, but, you know, after they're finished, Kendrick comes to the reala realization that good sex is not enough. Um, you know, he just can't trust Tristan at the moment. And that's not really a foundation for a relationship that he could see working going forward. Not at this particular point in time. Um, so Kendrick leaves. And that just kind of leaves Tristan heartbroken. You know, Kendrick was really his first love and first relationship. And then he leaves. Um, so Tristan just really kind of heartbroken um, by the end of the episode. And, you know, again, it wasn't the kiss that drove Kendrick away, per se. It was just the dishonesty. And so going to next week's episode, which actually happens to be the finale, the last episode of season two, we get to kind of see what Tristan does now. Um, now that it's official that Kendrick is gone, um, what's he do now? Um, so we'll kind of figure out what happens with that. Um, I will say uh, that we will get an opportunity to hear how do I say this? There is a revelation about one of the characters. I'll say that, that yes. Um, and we get to meet one last new character in the finale, I know. Um, but yeah, I'm happy about the new character. So thanks for listening.